We're going to start with the serenity prayer, and then we'll go into the daily reflections. If you or someone you know are questioning yourselves about whether or not you're an alcoholic or whether they are an alcoholic or drug addict, reach out. We can help you. You don't have to do it alone. God, grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. Grant me patience with the struggles that take time, and appreciation for all that I have, tolerance of those with different struggles, and the strength to get up and try again, one day at a time. December 3rd, in all our affairs. We tried to carry this message to alcoholics and to practice these principles in all our affairs. 12 Steps and 12 Traditions, page 106. I find that carrying the message of recovery to other alcoholics is easy because it helps me stay sober and it provides me with a sense of well-being about my own recovery. The hard part is practicing these principles in all my affairs. It is important that I share the benefits I receive from AA, especially at home. Doesn't my family deserve the same patience, tolerance, and understanding I so readily give to the alcoholic? When reviewing my day, I try to ask, did I have a chance to be a friend today and miss it? Did I have a chance to rise above a nasty situation and avoid it? Did I have a chance to say, I'm sorry, and refuse to? Just as I ask God for help with my alcoholism each day, I ask for help in extending my recovery to include all situations and all people. For most of us who have worked all 12 steps with our sponsors, the drink is no longer the issue. Our daily struggle is to not exercise our character defects that we uncovered in steps 4 and 5. Step 10 is there for us to correct our self-will moments with a spot check inventory and amends. If we do not practice these principles in all our affairs, or, if you will, live in steps 10, 11, and 12, then yes, we are on the slippery slope. We want to be a friend to those who do not like us. That is hard when we take things personally and want to use our own justifiable anger. Our home life is a barometer of our sobriety. How do we now treat those who put up with so much of our selfishness and drunkenness? Step 11 when we retire at night, has our nightly inventory to keep us honest with ourselves, others, and God. Step 7 prayer, my creator, I am now willing that you should have all of me, good and bad. I pray that you now remove from me every single defect of character which stands in the way of my usefulness to you and my fellows. Grant me the strength as I go out from here to do your bidding. Amen. We have to remember we are doing his bidding not our own. Easier to treat people with respect and kindness and love when we remember that. December 3rd, in all our affairs. We tried to carry this message to alcoholics and to practice these principles in all our affairs. 12 Steps and 12 Traditions, page 106. I find that carrying the message of recovery to other alcoholics is easy because it helps me stay sober and it provides me with a sense of well-being about my own recovery. The hard part is practicing these principles in all my affairs. It is important that I share the benefits I receive from AA, especially at home. Doesn't my family deserve the same patience, tolerance, and understanding I so readily give to the alcoholic? When reviewing my day, I try to ask, did I have a chance to be a friend today and miss it? Did I have a chance to rise above a nasty situation and avoid it? Did I have a chance to say, I'm sorry, and refuse to? Just as I ask God for help with my alcoholism each day, I ask for help in extending my recovery to include all situations and all people. Carpe the diem, boys and girls. Please subscribe for more videos. Thank you for watching.